Again, you can go into the, the Paylocity website, which will be provided to you. Um, from there, you'll put the company code, your username, and password. Uh, mine right here. This is a demo site. This isn't mine, but I'm, you know, just so that you have access and see what it looks like. Um, on your self-service portal, this is going to have all your information. So everything that we saw on the app, you'll be able to access here and then some. So you, this, it's not going to look exactly like this because this, this is just a demo site. But your company is going to have uh, give you access to different things like links to the to the company information, maybe handbooks. Um, and you'll also be able to see tasks here. I have quite a bit of tasks. Um, so maybe it's a survey that was sent out to me, or I have to do a compliance video for anti-discrimination. But this is sort of like your homework box, right? Anything that says, hi, it'll have your name, and it'll say tasks to complete. You can click on view, and then it'll take you to where you need to go to complete the different tasks. You probably won't see the, depending, if you're clocking in and out, you might have access to it from here, or we'll just have the kiosk. Um, Kim will get with you on that as far as where you'll see your clocking in and out. Um, but you're able to access it from here if, if they put it on there. You can also see your pay. You could make it hidden or not hidden, just so you know, in case that you have your computer up and you don't want somebody behind you to see what you're getting paid. So you can keep it hidden. You also will be able to, um, pull up the different check from here if you'd like and print it. So if let's say you're at work and you want to go ahead and print your check, you can click on it and from there be able to print it out. Time off, same thing. You have access to it here. I personally have never used the desktop to ask for time off or even look at my check. I like to use my phone. That's just me. It's just easier. It's right there. Click on my fingers um, and do it from there. Uh, so this will be, like I said, it'll be different for your company because um, Kim and Allison are making it custom to you. Does that all make sense? Great. So again, with impressions, you have access to it from here as well. But most importantly is on the directory, right? You click the directory. This is where I can find all that information. Um, I'm going to go to my personal one. and show you here, this is my Paylocity one. So I can go right on mine and it gives all the information. So here I can choose and edit different pieces, right? So I can say, so these are all my impressions that we were giving and, and getting. So you can see a whole list of them. I have quite a bit, um, but I can go in here and make changes to my profile. If I edit profile, I can change my picture so you can put any picture. We really recommend you do that. It's going to be great when we're building out the directory so that we can put a face to the name. Um, so I would definitely put a really cool picture here. This is my little glamour shot when my hair looks good and my makeup is on. I apologize. I'm sitting here at home like everybody else with grays coming out and color completely gone. But, <laughs> but it is the world we live in now. Um, so you can put any picture that you like. If you want to upload your resume here just to have it, access to it, you can. Um, a little bit about yourself, any kind of information you'd like, what you're into. So this is kind of cool because the way I've used this, so for example, if I'm into horse riding, which I'm not, I am not, I'm a city girl, so I'm more into city stuff. <laughs> um, but you can build out your profile. And the way I've used it is I have a, a sales admin that I work with, and I wanted to buy her a gift for Christmas last Christmas. And I don't know much about her because we have 4,000 employees. She lives in Chicago. I don't know much about her. I was able to go on her profile and see what kind of activities and hobbies she was into. Um, and personalize a gift that was her for her. And she was really appreciative of it. She's like, how in the world did you know? Little did she know I went into her profile. So this can be used in a lot of really cool ways. And I, I really hope that you guys get in there and you know put that information in there so that we have access to it. Personal information, this is where you're going to be able to put your address. Um, where you're going to be able to put, you know, uh, email, phone numbers so that in the directory you will have access to it. So I encourage you all to um, add as much information as possible. So again, I want to go back to show you how it's done. So I went into my self-service portal, this is where everything is. We click on directory. 
I searched my own name. I clicked it and edit profile. Easy peasy, and then I can make any kind of changes. I'm one of those people that like, to, I forget a lot, especially when it comes to, you know, step by step. So I like to use something here that we have, if you've ever used Google, I know not everybody does, but you have access to something like that for our um, web, for our uh, software. So when I click on um, help here, it's called knowledge base for employees. When I click on that, and can you still see my screen as I'm switching over? Perfect. Um, I can say, how do I change my profile and see what comes up? So here, edit employee profile and self-service. And when I click it, it's literally gonna give me step-by-step -step directions that I just went over. Because if you're anything like me, as soon as you get off, you're probably gonna forget what I went over. Um, so you can go right in here and it's gonna give you step-by-step. -step. So you go to the HR payroll, which is right here. And self-service, as you can see, it says self-service. You select the directory icon. You can go to find a name, click your name and select the edit. On top of that, it's going to give you a picture of what that looks like for the step-by-step. -step. If you're a visual person like me, I love this. I'm able to see, oh, okay, this is where I need to go and click and do. So um, basic, you know, just step-by-step -step directions for anything that you might need. Is that helpful? Does that make sense? Cool. So, and again, it's everything and anything that we went over, you can pretty much, you know, use that uh, source. Again, it's on help uh, and knowledge base for employees. And you're able to access all that information um, on the drop of a dime. Um, I think these are the, I think for you, we we're gonna talk about check calculator, but I think that's a little bit more complicated and that can come later as we're getting more acclimated with the system and feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, but right now I'd like to open it for questions or if there's anything that you want me to go over again, um, I'm happy to do so. Just let me know. You've got me here, so. I'll unmute everybody at the moment. Let me, um, don't say bad words, I'm unmuting, okay? I'm staying on these ends. It's uh, enabling. Well, now it's still, hold on. Participants. So why is it now letting me? You can do unmute all, but then people who are, are muted on their own will still stay muted. So they will have to unmute if they have questions, but you can just hit the unmute all button under the participant section, but it will only unmute the people that the mute okay. all muted. That's interesting. And un interesting. Okay. So if you're uh, if you're able to be unmuted, you've been unmuted. So let me know if you have any questions. If you have uh, anything else that you want to go over, please let me know. Man, am I that good? Guys? Yeah, you are, are Maggie. That good. <laughs> no one's lost no one's confused hey i have a question for you can you change the profile on the app or do you have to go in through the um you have to use your computer i believe you have to use your computer okay. on that yes on the computer um but everything else you should do the, the app you're able to access pretty much everything but there are certain components that has to be changed on the computer okay that doesn't mean it won't change. I mean, we uh, make changes all the time. So that might be an update that comes later. But for now, it's on the computer. Okay. Yeah. Let me actually access. So we use our own software. I'm logging into my app right now and seeing if that's changed at all because I remember. Oh. Yes, you can. Hold up. <laughs> Just like that. All right. So if you click on your name right here and the word edit, you have that, you can change your image, you can change your name, information, address, all of that right here. Ah, okay, and great. And we encourage you to add an image. 
Yes, add an image for sure. Please, please, please do that. Um, it's going to have pending changes. So sometimes if like there's certain aspects that if you change it, there's an approval process, it'll go to Kim or Alex and they have to approve it. But most of that information should be fine to, to change. Any other questions? And this is not your only opportunity to ask questions. Please um, continue to reach out. We'll have the survey hopefully coming through Paylocity, uh, but we're learning along with you. So just um, please have patience with me and with Allison both as we are uh, learning this. Um, but a survey's coming out and one was already posted or you can just send an email or catch us in the hallway or call us or, and we know who to, to reach out to to get final answers, Maggie and Missy. Um, and you guys, uh, we so appreciate your time today. Anytime. That's what we're here for. The edit of the picture. Uh, do you pull that in off, the, off of your uh, phone? Is that yeah, so if you, let's say you have, yeah, if you have a picture on your phone um, and you say, you know, edit, let me see if it'll allow me on here. So it, it, when you click change image, it's going to, let me see if it does it on my phone. If I can give you exactly. When you click change image, it's going to give you a couple of options. One is you can take a picture now. The other is you can go into your picture library and choose a picture that you already have within your photos. Okay. Taking pictures are most helpful. Yeah, it's super duper easy, um, but it means a lot, you know, in a directory to be able to see somebody's face rather than just the name. I'm a visual person. For me to remember people, I, I have to see it. Well, we're awesome. I to be one of the part timers and you know, go to three different chapels, and so consequently, some names I forget. And if I see a picture, then I say, "Oh, okay." Then I know Absolutely. who it is. Correct. What's the pictures will also feed into the org chart, so it'll help everyone that is a supervisor or admin or anything like that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I want to quickly show you, um, while I have you, our community and what it looks like and what yours can look like in the future um, and how we use it as a company. So we have different groups that we can create. We even have a cat lover group that I'm part of. So I can post pictures of my cat and talk to other employees within the company that have the same interests and we can share pictures and funny videos. Um, we also have, you know, groups like, you know, uh, maybe for just the chapel or just for a, a specific um, job title that you can collaborate and speak to or maybe a specific team. And then that way you can have a communication that way because a lot of communication is either giving you a call on the phone or forgetting or texting everybody or a, a mass email and I don't know about you but when I get those I generally forget to reply or I just I, I miss it I don't think I get a ton of emails but something like this I get a push notification so I can have conversations together um, with everybody on there so and everybody would see it that needs to see it so there's there's things like that but also you'll notice here like the Impression. I had somebody here sent an impression to somebody and everybody in the organization can see it on there. Um, and again, this is going to look different for, for your company versus our company. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like on our side. Built out. So basically, it's, it's social media for your company. <laughs>